Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is Saving Your Disaster campaign and we're in the campaign The Royal Disaster. This is episode number 6 and my name is Saiken. Today we're continuing this legendary Iron Man campaign. Um, we're almost at the point where I consider it saved. The last time we've upgraded a bunch of uh, different weapons. We're now at the point where we Avenger only need more alien um, alloys. Is open. Which we could get for some intel, but that would leave us with no option to expand our territory, so we're not going to do that. Tough luck. We're continuing, in this case, our pursuit for more territory. Setting course for the Arctic. We've upgraded most of the stuff. And maybe we can use the supplies for some other means. Uh, the important breakpoints to look for is blue screen protocol here uh, to give us some um, uh, some extra ammunition and probably also the infirmary uh, to finally reduce the healing time. But before we get into that direction, look at that, we do have uh, supplies and intel, specifically what we were looking for. So let's directly get into the fun of it. Uh, normally I prepare the missions so that uh, you wouldn't see the preparation. Last time I decided to end the series a bit early. So this time we can take a look at how exactly um, we are preparing. I'd like to take Demo with us, who's now uh, definitely our strongest grenadier. I like to take the spark with us, although it's slightly injured, uh, it can heal itself and is a very valuable soldier. I like to take Dead Eye with us, our best sniper. Um, we're taking a Reaper with us, and let's make sure that we get a specialist. Yep, Doc unfortunately still is injured, and we would be missing either a Ranger or a Reaper. We already have a Reaper. Wait a second. Da -da 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 -da. Um, so I think instead of a Ranger we're then going with a Templar. The Reaper here substitutes the Ranger for scouting um, and the uh, the mech kind of substitutes the Ranger for raw, um, raw um, uh, ballistic power. I still want to level the Templar. I think it's a very very good character class to have and since we now have upgraded armor might as well use it to our advantage. So first things first this guy here could definitely take a uh, personal combat sim giving him a proper weapon Since he has all of these grenades, I'm just wondering. Um, we can't give him another grenade, so might as well give him a school jack, which gives, uh, which offers him the opportunity to kill someone in melee. That's fine. I think we're f we're okay with our mech. Very strong weapon. I think we can't change. Um, anything else yet. It has its uh, re reinforced frame nowadays, so more health, more armor. Will be more like a real mech. Our sniper definitely could take a different loadout, starting with a spider suit. And basically having a different loadout on every single slot. We're missing ammunition, so that's the only ammunition that we have so far. Uh, yes, a flashbang grenade here would be more appropriate. And looking at the weapon upgrades, we have an autoloader. I mean, the superior scope is really not bad for, um, for, her, uh, for him. Let's go for it. We 
Reaching 100 aim means we're not missing, so that reduces the chance of being being detected. Good. We're taking the Mimic Beacon on him. Yeah, go for it. Get the, uh, get the Bond, that's fine. And I think we're fine here. Okay. I would say it's a solid team. You could make an argument and say remove uh, the uh, remove um, the uh, spark unit and instead instead take a, a ranger with them just to give the ranger the experience that's an option as well I think with the ranger it would be more like my uh, favorite team composition um, let's take a close a short look like if we were to take a ranger whom would we take I mean, she would definitely be the subpar choice unless we give her something. Like a mimic beacon. I think now it's a better choice. Okay. No max in this run. We're doing it maxless. Here we go. It's a dark VIP mission. So if we were to kidnap the VIP, we would uh, we were to gain the intel on top of the supplies. If we only kill the VIP, we're just taking the supplies and that's pretty much it. With additional hit points, we're finally no longer a one shot. So most of our guys should have around 10, 12 hit points. That's super helpful. And if we were successful here, we're looking at 200 supplies plus about 100 more intel. Well, I think it was 70 something. So more than enough to get to North America and once we would um, bridge over to North America I would declare this run here as to be successful. Alright. Sky Ranger is landing in the middle of somewhere. I mean, there could be an argument made actually for the mech because the mech can traverse uh, locate um, the buildings without without um, climbing on top of it. Okay, let's give it a quick glance. So in the middle of uh, this building here right next to the um, to the transmitter we're going to find the dark VIP uh, most likely as with all dark VIPs there will be at least one pack over here you can already see that there is like um, that there is most likely a pack outside here simply oh no wait that's the tower anyways as I was saying there will be a pack in here there's a lot of high ground which could make it easier for us but there's also a lot of uh, distance that we need to cover before we actually get there. Moving, Moving in. I will reposition. Their patrol is coming. 
And there's the first patrol. Not very scary, to be honest. We might want to take this high ground here, take a dump on the building, and just kill everyone inside. That's actually not a bad idea. Moving up. Copy that. Time to motor. And wow. Well, these guys are just standing there, pretty much, and that's okay. I am trusting you. I think overall we still want to continue moving closer. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Going up. Okay. So there would be this one tower to take care of, but that's okay. Might as well move over here. We move everyone into position without triggering them yet. The power guides me. Overwatching. And next turn we're going to trigger that pack. Well, well, fuck. One, two, three, four, and yeah. need to get to the other side over here. One, two, three. Okay, he would only trigger these guys. I'm on the move. One. Okay, fair enough. We're out of line of sight. Um, these guys here would only trigger if we actually provoke them. Or if we actually move in. Let's take a look what kind of hex we could do. Uh, gain control. No, we're, the odds are just too bad. Which means we don't need the, the tower necessarily. So, I guess the question that we could ask ourselves, is it worth to burn a second grenade uh, on them to kill the two stun lancers right away? And probably the answer is yes. 
So let's pull them with the grenade. Which leaves only the Archon. And the tower. But I think we can deal with the tower. Did these guys here trigger? No, they didn't. Okay. Oh, we are still covered. Uh, yeah, we should re uh, retain our cover because if we blow it, the this pack here will come and join them. All right, fair enough. First things first. Aid protocol in case we're not being able to kill the tower. And let's try to kill the Archon. Seven points of damage is pretty good. It's down to six. So if I were to move to here, or here, or here, all of that would trigger this pack. Which we can't afford. We simply can't afford that to happen. Another instance where lightning uh, hands comes in extremely handy. Apparently we can't. Oh, apparently we can't see this guy. Just about out of line of sight. So since we can't kill him normally, maybe we can kill him with a pistol. Or a submachine gun in this regard. Good. Last but not least, 75% chance to instantly kill the tower, which I think we're going to take. <sighs> Overconfidence is a slow but insidious killer, as a wise man once said. Luckily, we do have full cover over here. Moving to pick up the loot, but also to trigger the pack. Tularian core and some intel. Not the best loot, but certainly okay. Okay, so... This here would get the mutant and shred him on top of it. Absolutely. Moving into a better position. Let's try to get the mutant. We don't want to melee the mutant. I think it would be a beautiful option to just kill him with our vector rifle here. Nice one. 
Beautiful ambush kill. Softening up the Viper. Two. Kill it and get some focus afterwards. Yeah, we're running out of actions here. In which case, the only logical option is to use this big fat Mimic Beacon. And go on to parry mode. So all of the enemies should go for the Mimic Beacon. Yeah, binding the Mimic Beacon is not a good idea. Alright. Let's start with the, the guys that hit the least likely. Maybe not with him because he has the other Mimic Beacon just in case something goes terribly wrong. Let's hit the tower. Perfect. That's a good starting point because now we can kill the Viper and kill this tower at the same time. That's enough damage to prep it for our Templar. Regaining focus. And I think we need to continue scouting now. Take a peek. There is indeed a second tower. We're still having eight more rounds to go. Killed two of the packs, one tower, which means there is only one more tower left and another pack. The fire is again reducing the FPS. That's the last pack. I think it's the last. Either that is the last or the semi last pack. Not sure. But I am pretty sure about how we want to deal with them. Just mainly cover removal. On the 
Yeah, we knew that the tower would be there. No big surprise. Let's try to take out the Spectre and then the Viper. Spectre's almost down. Mimic Beacon. And let's try to hit the tower. Oh, shit, I had a grenade. I should have probably used the grenade and just threw it there. Would have killed the tower instantly. protocol so that the tower needs to shoot into full cover it won't be able to kill us this turn if anything it'll mildly injure us into full cover. I certainly wasn't expecting that, but luckily we got our healing. Could have used the second mimic beacon. Uh, I didn't give it enough respect, I suppose. Seize any advantage. I'm not sure if we can find the Mimic Beacon placement for three of them or going to go for the Mimic Beacon. So, 
a high movement rate certainly helps here. Can go in and out without an issue. This here might be the best spot to at least get one of them. Overwatch. Nice little hit. Certainly wasn't expecting that. Good, but we can kill all of them next turn. Not a problem. Nice little counter attack, by the way. And again, having revival protocol really makes the difference here. And by the way, earlier I said that we can improve his action economy by actually taking the fast draw ability. This is where it comes in handy, look at this. Um, we do have two actions, first one could be uh, used for a pistol shot, so we don't need to move. Securing one kill, second one can be used to rent this guy. further. And that kills the last of them. I think we're pretty much set. So we need to extract back here, which means we're just going to create a little hole. Having the opportunity to move out is helpful. In the meantime, let's see if there's yet another pack left over. It seems as if there isn't. Heading out. Four more turns. Moving to position. Going for the VIP. We're going to subdue it very soon. Since there are going to be reinforcements, what I want to do is move everyone further to the target zone. And you know what? Let's let our yeah, let our Templar do the subduing. 
can put everyone else onto the extraction zone. I go where I am needed. Location confirmed. There we go. Three more rounds left. Moving completely out of this here, subduing. Picking up the body. And see you later, guys. Moving out. Double movement. I think there will be one pack of reinforcements and that's pretty much it. There we go. Overwatch. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Another overwatch. Got it covered. I am reloading. Reapers another overwatch. And another overwatch. And I think our our specialist might see if we can get some alien loys or something out of this. No, I forgot. Uh, we had no good hex available. Never mind. On my way. Come get some. Okay, let's take one more overboard shot and see if we can get a bonus kill. And then we're out of here. was a pretty decent hit and I think we killed the first one already. And second one down as well. See? Right there, promotion earned. Perfect. This here is just to mark him and maybe shred him. Getting out of here. Getting out of here. Ugh, lightning hand shot. Nope. Another 67% shot missed. Well, at least you got uh, rid of all of the cover. Reload. Big fat uh, shot. And there we go. I am done here. I'm going. Good, so we already killed, uh, also killed all of the reinforcements, which wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, we took some damage. Uh, parts of it was due to me playing not well. Parts of it was due to the sheer fact that we were on a very tight timer.
citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. So... That will give us more intel and more supplies, and I think we're pretty much back in, in the game. Maybe one more mission, and then I would declare this here as to be unstuck. As long as there is even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. We got the field medic, finally, so more usage of our... Uh, of our medikit and these guys look pretty worn down Hello, Commander. so we got what we needed specifically additional supplies Just give the word and I'll get started commander we're missing alien alloys but we can buy them we got some new Intel Advanced grenade launcher would be absolutely worth it. Maybe even the mag pistol. And probably the Gremlin Mark II. So if we could get these upgrades, I think that would be worth it. So we need to make contact soon. We have 118 intel. Wait a second, I think we already made contact, right? So alien alloys would be 50. Leaving us at a little bit less than 70. But that's okay. I think we can work with it. So, weapon upgrades. Grenade launcher, super important. I think the next ones would be the pistol and the gremlin. Both together, together would be 80 supplies. So since we're anyways at the black market, maybe we're selling a bunch of items to get to the 80. Archon corpse, yes. Chrysalid corpse, probably we should keep on to them. Uh, need the Viper Corpses. Damn you, we also need the Mutant Corpses. But we can maybe get rid of one of these Alarium Cores, and that's pretty much it. Got enough supplies. We're upgrading the Gremlin, and we're upgrading the Pistol. The other stuff can wait. We don't need it. I think we're pretty much in a good spot now. Every weapon, every relevant weapon is upgraded. Only the grenades need an upgrade. And of course our medikits. Continuing to make contact here. And look at that, tail and rounds, so good for uh, for our shotguns, I like it. So now we only need nine more days for blue screen rounds. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action. Nice, look at that, we got another lieutenant out of it. best people were so impressed by your soldiers after that last action together. They're coming to join up with you, hope you don't mind. Okay, can we reduce the avatar progress? We can't. Ah, that's too bad. This here wouldn't be too bad. I mean, assault rifles getting an uh, extra weapon slot for six days is pretty good. 
I was hoping that we could get a reduction of the avatar project here. We actually can't, that is too, uh, too bad. Also no promotion runs. Well, this time the covered ops missions are actually pretty shitty. Well, let's hope that we can get some of these guys leveled up. The modular, modular rifles aren't too bad. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. So we got ourselves a new Reaper. And she has holo targeting, which is pretty good on many of uh, the XCOM soldiers, probably the worst on a Reaper, because the Reaper is supposed to shoot last and not first. Dead Eye on the other side is a Maybe good ability. Let's get with, uh, let's take the standard abilities that we would want to take anyways, and then we have one more option. And I think we might want to go with Dead Eye here, instead of the holo targeting. Needle is another option. Target definition is another option. You know, I mean, all of uh, them aren't too bad. Blood Trail, of course, is also an option just to finish them. It's plus one weapon damage. But I think we're going with Dead Eye. And that will already exhaust all of her ability points. Yeah, we got, I mean, the roster looks really really good now two reapers that's a very strong combination very good uh, templar as well i think you will find our results have exceeded expectations so we can now build the shadow chamber which allows further um, which allows further studies. Might as well get some more intel. The science is eager to begin, and then continue and then continue to go for um, get some more intel and then continue to go for Elarium and weapon upgrades. To analyze any materials we recover related to the Shadow Chamber costs two hundred. I'm not sure if we can get that much money together. Which is a bit of a bummer because the Shadow Chamber facility allows for further studies. And the further studies will all help to reduce the Avatar project. Signals coming through clear. New regional contact located. Commander, the resistance forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the Chosen actively working in the area. So, you would come to strike yeah. me. I That's a bad a enemy to have. Commander, as of right now, we don't have enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. So, 100 supplies to get the uh, tower here. Your efforts have become well known. Which would allow us to get East Asia. We lost two out of our Elarium cores. And the scientist is wounded. Well, that's not too bad. So, one of the things that we could do is really build the tower here. But that would mean we need more supplies. And I'm not, I'm not sure if we can sell enough to get the 100 supplies or 92.
We could sell some of the Elarium, but that would bite us into the rear. We want to get to Elarium weapons next. Yeah, I'm just not seeing... We also lost a couple of Elarium cores. That would have been the other, only option that I would have seen to actually get 100 um, supplies. So we're a bit stuck here. Um, we would need to build the tower next in order to then get over here. Which means, let's get some supplies. Nice. So, we could get an engineer or a hidden event. We could get a captain specialist. That's pretty neat. I like it. Or we could get um, 89 Intel. I think we're going for the Captain Specialist and that will also be the last mission on this run. Afterwards, I would say we have su uh, sufficiently recovered it and there are ways to, to stop the Doom Timer. Um, it'll just take some time. They, they won't immediately rebuild everything. So... Yeah, let me do the last mission. Uh, we see each other in the next episode, and then once the mission is over, this run is officially declared to be unstuck. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next episode.